Hi guys and welcome back. Today I'm talking you through how to do this super glam purple and silver cut crease makeup look. So if you want to find out how to get this look, just keep watching and don't forget to subscribe. Starting with the 17 Skin Wow Highlighter, I'm just going to prime my skin. I love illuminating primers and it just gives such a beautiful glow through your foundation. I'm just going to apply that all over my skin before moving on to foundation. And for foundation, I'm using the Lorac Perfection Foundation. I picked this up when I went to LA earlier this year, and I have to say, this is such an underrated foundation. I don't see many people talking about it, but they really should, because it is so beautiful on the skin, and also long-lasting too. Next up, brows. Today I'm using the NYX Eyebrow Gel in the shade Brunette. I really do love this brow gel because it gives such a flawless brow finish, but it is really affordable at the same time, which is always a bonus. I'm just filling in my brows, and then I'm gonna go ahead and take my concealer to carve them out. Today I'm using the Crayola and Dermacolor Camouflage Cream. I cannot even begin to tell you how much I love this product. I feel like this is the one product that changed my life because it gave me so much more confidence back and I swear it never runs out. <laughs> Prime my eyes, I'm using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I'm using this later on as a highlight so I might as well give it another purpose and it can prime my eyes. To set that, I'm going to use the Clinique Vanilla Pop Eyeshadow. You can use any cream beige skin toned eyeshadow to do this. Next up, eyeshadow. I'm using the Morphe 35T palette and I'm going to start with this light taupey lilac shade and this will act as our transition colour. So I'm just using a small fluffy brush and applying that into the crease and softly blending that out. When you're happy with your transition, move on. Let's take this berry shade and apply that again into the deepest part of the crease. Use small windscreen wiper actions to blend it out and keep going until you're happy with the level of intensity. And using a clean crown 441 brush, I'm just gonna gently blow out the edges before moving on to this deeper, darker purple shade from the Morphe 35T palette. I've swapped to a smaller brush at this point just to pinpoint that exact crease area and just to connect it to my lashes. Again, take your time and then blend out using a bigger brush if you feel you need to. For the lid, I'm using the Sugar Pill Grand Tiara Loose Pigment. I first of all went in with just the pigment on its own, but it wasn't giving me enough color. So I saturated my brush in the NYX Glitter Primer and that made my life so much easier. It just gave me more of a structure and it was definitely easier to get that sharp cut crease look by doing it in this way. Take your time and practice makes perfect on this. I'm still not perfect at this. For eyeliner, I'm using the Clinique Pretty Easy Liner Pen. This is one of my favorite liners. The bristle tip makes it so much easier to get a really good wing. So if you find that you're struggling with doing winged liner, A, I have a winged liner tutorial, which I'll link down below, and B, it could actually be that you're not into your actual eyeliner. You might need a different tip or brush on the end of it. So don't be afraid to try out a new product. For mascara today, I'm using the YSL Vinyl Couture Mascara. This is such a beautiful, intense black mascara that doesn't go gray, it actually looks black. It's awesome. And for lashes today, I'm wearing the Lily Lashes Glam Collection Beverly Hills Lashes. Every time I wear these bad boys, I get so many people asking me which lashes I am wearing. They are so fluffy and beautiful and so easy to wear. Definitely recommend. Let's move back on to the base. I'm using the NYX Cream Highlight and Contour Palette to contour today. As with most cream contour products, the highlight shade isn't actually light enough for my skin, but I'm totally feeling the contour shade. Just applied that in all of the normal spots, the hollows of my cheeks, my forehead, and my chin. I'm just gonna go ahead and blend it out. To highlight today, I'm going back to the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Chantilly. Applying that onto my chin, my nose, my upper lip, and also the sides of my nose and forehead. 
once that's applied and I'm happy with the placement, I'm just gonna go ahead and use the same sponge to blend that out into my base to have a smooth transition. Take your time, if you're still new or you're just learning this, go slowly and do you know what? If you make any mistakes, don't worry, you can take it off. Next up, I'm gonna give this old color correcting fad a go and I'm using the Smashbox color correcting stick. This is in the shade dark. I'm just gonna apply that and blend it out slightly but not so I look like a tangerine, um, but just enough to cover the areas where I feel like I need it. Then I'm gonna go back over that with my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, blend it out using my finger before swapping back to the same makeup sponge. To set that, I'm using the Vichy Derma Blend Powder. This is one of my favorite loose powders, and I don't know why I stopped using it because I do really love it. It doesn't cake, it doesn't, you know, set really horribly into fine lines or anything like that. It just sets it and it holds it there all night. Back to that Morphe palette, and I'm taking that light lilac shade and applying that in the under eye area and just going bold and low with that shadow before moving on to the darker shade to intensify it. And for eyeliner today, I'm using the Makeup Forever Aqua XL, and this is in the shade M18. It's a matte plum liner, so I thought I'd go for something a little bit more purple than normal. I'm also following that with my YSL Vinyl Couture Mascara once again. This is really good on the bottom lashes. Using the NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette, I'm going to finish off the eyes by applying the lightest highlight into the inner corner. I'm also going to sweep that across the tops of my cheeks, down the center of my nose, and also my cupid's bow. This video is not sponsored by NYX, I'm just obsessed with their products. To finish the whole look off, I'm using the NYX Lip Lingerie in the shade Embellishment. This is a beautiful muted matte purple liquid lipstick and it really does last a long time. And here's the finished look, my ultra glam silver and purple makeup look. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.